I'm pretty sure his third tower is actually uh, the ace, so I don't think we can actually rush this man, okay? If we were to all out him, I think he has enough money to ground zero. Later. There's no freaking way, boys. Yeah, we're just gonna all out him. Bruh. Yo, what is up, guys? It's your boy Boltrix here, back with yet another banger. We got some VFB Coliseum boost only, so let's hop right in today's video. If you are, in fact, new to the channel, don't forget to click that subscribe button. And also, while you're at it, drop a like. On today's video, it's gonna be a banger, because it always is. Preja is gonna be our first opponent. Although his record doesn't look too bad, I actually clicked on this, and you can see he's 46th in the world on the global leaderboards, okay? So we're not gonna underestimate this guy at all. Shallow River is gonna end up being the map, so my go-to personally is Boat Farm Boomer, okay? Works pretty nice on this map, so. Without further ado, let's just get right into this one, boys. So it looks like Preja is gonna end up starting off with the Cobra, which is a highly used tower for this map, okay? Unfortunately, it sucks, but we're gonna have to start off with our boat um, before actually going for this farm, okay? We're actually gonna send him some eco right at the start of round two as well. We're gonna send constant reds at him because this is gonna force an upgrade on his side, okay? Obviously, his two Cobras cannot pop all of those reds, so he's just gonna have to upgrade or else he will have to tank those lives, okay? He ends up going for zero zero boat. That should definitely help him out quite a bit. We're gonna go for the Morbid Dennis here, and uh, if we have to tank a few lives, that's okay, because we'll be fine ultimately, all right? Uh, but now we could probably get up our Grape Shot. Yep, there we go with that. We're also gonna have to get up the faster shooting for sure in order to defend against Constant Blues on round four. The AI on this map too is so weird, dude. We're gonna have to probably over defend a little bit more than normally because the AI comes out of here, and the balloons he sends comes out of here, okay? So two different spots. It just makes it harder for our towers to actually pop the balloons, okay? So really unfortunate, but we'll get by, boys. And we're hardly actually even leaking lives right now, okay? So I'm definitely going to end up greeting for this plantation. He also sent me space pinks? That is kind of interesting, okay? I did not expect that from the young man, but whatever. Here he comes back at us with more freaking blues. Okay, so... We could do one of two things. We can either go for another farm or prepare for round six greens from him. I'm thinking we go with the next farm, okay? He's not really being too aggressive. We still have a decent amount of lives. Actually, oh, see, yeah, he did not like the fact that we went for the next farm, okay? So I might just have to boost this. I don't know. I'm going to try not to. Oh, yeah, we'll be fine, okay? 100% going to be fine. Uh, but we are down pretty low, ladies and gentlemen, okay? Down to 52, unfortunately. Probably have to go for another fast shooting to fully defend against these space blacks. And I might have to attack this once or twice. We're going to probably send him a little bit of a rush on round 7 here. Okay, he's being quite aggressive towards us, so I want to see an upgrade on his side. There he goes for that grave shot, okay? He's probably got those Cobras set to strong, so he should be fine with this space deco. And yeah, he does, okay? So he's going to be all good with that. He spiked again? I don't know why he's spiking that. That just doesn't make sense to me, but... I ended up getting a few lives off of him still. We will always take that. And obviously, round eight is now here. Okay, our farm game is not looking too good. He's going to end up sending us a few yellows. We should be pretty good, though. So I decided to go for a plantation, okay? And he actually stopped with his base deco, okay? So I'm going to definitely go for yet another farm because whenever you go against Cobra, you got to make sure that you maintain pretty decent farms, okay? Because your opponent is definitely going to start rushing you. This is his second freaking... Uh, balloon boost at us. Okay, so definitely just gonna be uh, boosting that. Okay, just to play it safe because wow, this man is being aggressive. Okay, we have got to see what his third tower is. I'm thinking it's the boomer. It is in fact the boomer. Okay, so we probably have to be a little bit more aggressive towards him during these mid game rounds. Okay, try to get some lives and whatnot off of him. I'm gonna send the young man a round 11 rush. Oh, actually, he's gonna send me a rush. He actually is. Okay, so. While he's sending me a rush, I'm going to send him quite a bit of whites on his side. Definitely, he will not be liking that. Hopefully, we're going to end up being good. We ended up leaking down to, what, 28? He leaked down to what? Holy crap! He leaked down low. To eight freaking lives, boys. My goodness. Oh, my gosh. And I just leaked three lives to that freaking camo green. That's all good. Uh, but we ended up sending him a few camos. Okay, he's just not going to be liking that. I'm going to send him a few more balloons. Oh, never mind. I think being aggressive here on round 14, though, just to maybe force um, a turbocharge on his side is a good move. 
Um, looks like it did not, unfortunately, okay? He wasn't even phased by that at all. But it's fine, boys, okay? He's down to eight lives. We're down to 22. This is pretty intense, okay? We definitely have to come at him with another rush on round 16, okay? But he might just be aggressive towards us, so I'm gonna save up a little bit of money here. Yeah, definitely gonna go for a destroyer because he's sending me freaking regen leads. Oh my goodness, that is a huge rush, okay? So I'm just gonna end up turbocharging that just to play it safe because the AI also came in at the same time freaking time okay i'm gonna send him some regen lens on his side as well just uh that many sets should be good and that will force a boost and whatnot on his side hopefully or a turbocharge oh my gosh he ends up going down to the ai that's gonna be a freaking gg get the cobra out of here boys that ain't no freaking round for us whoa calm down jamal pre job once again it's gonna be our next opponent okay so since we already played against this guy, I'm just gonna disconnect, okay? It's just what we do here on the channel. I wanna find somebody new, someone different, all right? So I'll catch you on the next one. And reverse is gonna be our next opponent. I decided to take a little break, okay? We ended up finding that same guy and then I just got off for a little bit, okay? Because I had some things to do and whatnot. Ended up adding some losses to the account, unfortunately. It's all good though, boys. We're freaking back at it and ready to win, okay? We got the map area 52, which I absolutely adore going with whiz tack farm on this map okay so that's exactly what we're gonna do let's just get right into this one boys get a positive vibes and we shall d win we're gonna be starting off um actually no not with that okay we're gonna end up having the tax shooter down but immediately want to get up our first farm here at 18 seconds and end reverse ends up going for the heli okay so yeah let's get this tax shooter going here there we go and I'm also going to send him two sets of reds and three sets of space blues. I honestly don't know why I did that. Because, like, I'm assuming he's equin because he immediately started off with the heli. So, yeah, that tells me he's equin. He's probably going heli village sniper, okay? And we know how to beat that strategy, boys. If you didn't see my video on how I beat it, it was pretty intense, okay? But that's exactly what we're going to do because there's no way he's not going with that strategy. Like, actually, he has got to be going with that, okay? So... We're going to end up going for this 2-3, though, just so we know for sure we can defend against all of this eco with ease. And he's giving us hard eyes and stuff, thinking he's going to win the game. Nope, you're not winning the game, buddy, okay? I know the strats against this, and I will show you exactly what I'm talking about here in a moment. I actually just went for my first plantation, finally, okay? And obviously, we're A-okay against all of this AI, right? It's absolutely Avery's for us. Uh, because the 2 3 tax shirt on this map is <laughs> insane, okay? It's actually freaking broken, okay? But um, at the start of round six, okay, we want to immediately send the young man a little bit of a green rush here, okay? We're actually not going to be balloon boosting this either, okay? We're just looking for an upgrade on his side. He did happen to upgrade to the quad darts, but if we send constant, 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 constant greens, he just can't defend, okay? So that's exactly what we're going to do here. He ended up fully stopping with the eco. As you guys can see, slowly but surely, he is starting to leak, okay? He's just, he's just not liking the fact uh, that this is happening, okay? So we're actually going to continuously send these, and uh, he's just not going to be liking that. And yeah, it's, just, it's not looking good for him. He's down to 53, and hopefully he can't get those razor rotors up. He's about to be able to. I was just super late, but I think... Oh, no. Oh, he's down to 18. He ends up boosting again. 11. I think we got him, though. He added up another heli, but if we just constantly send, he does! Let's freaking go, boy! That is actually so broken. Literally, if you're ever going against somebody that is going heli, village, sniper, they can't win. They just can't win. You said constant greens. They just won't win. Yeah, he's sad. He's sad. He thought he was going to win. Whoa, calm down, Jamal. Player 7062302. It's going to be our next opponent. He's actually 32nd on the prestige leaderboards and 280 on the global, so no joke. But wow, guys, that last game, I'm telling you, if your opponent, if you just have a feeling, I mean, if they start off with the heli, they're going eco, there's a good chance they're going with the new best meta strategy in the game, heli village sniper. So I would highly recommend that you guys send a round six green rush, just constant freaking greens, They'll end up boosting, balloon boost those greens. I, I was kind of sloppy there, but balloon boost the greens. They'll eventually end up using their second boost and then literally just sell your farm and the current tower you have and just all out with probably preferably regen yellows and you should get the dub. Like honestly, that is so unfreaking believably broken, but we have found a flaw in the meta strategy that's actually nuts. I'm just so hyped. I know it was like such a dumb way to win, but dude, like I'm just so hyped that we figured out a great way to beat that strategy, okay? But anyway, let's just focus on this game now, okay? We ended up starting off 
um, with our farm. Okay, and I also want to get up a dart for my first popping power tower. My goodness, okay, that took me way too long to set. Uh, but let's start off with this round with three sets of reds, two sets of space blues, okay? He's also going to be upgrading uh, to a zero one. We're going to do the same exact thing. Going to end up leaking lives here, unfortunately, okay? It just has to happen if you want to send your opponent um, eco right at the start of round two, okay? So he ended up, though, going for um, his trip dart. So he didn't leak too many lives. And the reason why he went for the trip dart and could go for the trip dart is because he didn't upgrade to the more bananas, okay? So... I believe we actually get a, an extra banana off of him, so if you're rolling to leave 40 lives for that extra banana, then I'd say it's worth it, ladies and gentlemen, okay? But right at the start of round four, obviously, want to send this man constant space pinks. I think he's trying to go for plantation, okay? Which, honestly, I wouldn't recommend, okay? Although he didn't leak too many lives right at the start of round two, I just, I just don't think it's smart, okay? But, uh... <laughs> I was about to do it. I was literally about to go. No, no, no. I, I can't go back on what I just said. I'm just going to go for the second triple dart. Play it safe here, boys. I know it sucks. Um, and he still has yet to upgrade to that trip dart. Okay, so I'm going to make sure that I stay pretty consistent with these space pinks. It sucks that he has a farm lead, but um, I think the lives will be worth it. Okay, uh, I, I thought we were going to get him down a lot lower. Oh my gosh, boys. He, he is just mowing through these space pinks somehow. Okay which is super, super unfortunate, but I think maybe then we just got to be a little bit aggressive here, okay? So we're going to take this game around a little bit. We're going to end up sending him freaking a lot of greens here, okay? Boosted greens here. He's not going to be liking it, obviously, and uh, then we'll send a lot of space pinks behind that. Actually, no, he ends up tower boosting to the greens, which is actually a huge deal, okay? So I've been playing this game pretty aggressively. I won't even lie to y'all, so I'm, I might have to tone it down a little bit. I need to get my farm game going a little bit more, so... Ended up finally going for our first plantation. He's got two, though, which, you know, that sucks to see. But we will catch back up eventually, okay, since we do now have an eco advantage, okay? So I'm not going to go for another um, dart just yet. I'm going to end up going for this farm first. And uh, we actually weren't struggling too bad to those space blacks, so that's good to see. Uh, we're definitely going to boost this, okay? It sucks, but... Just what we got to do, okay? We were just very, very underprepared right there. I uh, didn't have the funds to actually upgrade to what we needed. So, it sucks to see, but um, we just don't want to die, obviously. So, we just had to boost it, okay? I'm going to end up going for my second plantation. And as you guys can see, slowly but surely, we are catching back up within the farms, okay? So, let's go for another farm here. And um, obviously, we get our cheap lead popping power with our wizard here. So, definitely want to go over that. Want to send him a lead because I actually don't think he's going dart whiz surprisingly. So we're also gonna set this bad boy to strong to pop those leads. There we go. We're gonna send him a little bit of a round eleven rush, okay? Just with a couple of regrowth balloons, he's just not gonna like it, all right? Um, and it's gonna force some upgrades and whatnot on his side. So this is exactly what we're looking for. And uh, he ends up upgrading into that spike pull and maybe a third trip dart. Okay, nope, that's fine though. And I ended up going for yet another farm. I am being un freaking believably greedy right here okay so he's gonna end up sending me a little bit of a rush here oh my gosh i don't have any camo detection yikes but looks like we're gonna end up being good and he's trying to catch back up within the farms okay i'm thinking about sending him a little bit of a round 14 rush how about that boys they're actually gonna be boosted zebras right here i'm i'm still continuing the aggression there he goes with his second boost my goodness down two boosts that's not looking too good for you bud and he's a <laughs> just ends up okay so you know what you know fair play fair play because now i'm down two boosts so i mean he just copied my rush but that's fine i guess and he's being pretty aggressive here on this round okay <gasps> oh 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 okay so we're actually gonna end up being fine against that he sent a camo ceramic in there boys my goodness we're not gonna send him a camo ceramic we're just looking for a boost right here okay so that's why i sent regens and he ended up just going for a second um jug actually okay so we're gonna go for our republic obviously somehow oh he fit three farms in here okay so i definitely could too but i i just got towers in the way okay so we're just not gonna move those but here come the intense rounds boys okay the, these are definitely gonna be very very intense because we can now send mobs and whatnot he's already getting all of his darts and whatnot ready okay so i wonder what's gonna happen i'm actually not gonna send him a mob just yet okay i don't want to uh, because I already know he's going to be coming at me with one. And I just got to defend myself. Okay, so I'm thinking I just sell a plantation. No, he's not. He didn't end up sending me one. Okay, so really was expecting one there. If we have to, now we definitely um, can just Super Monkey Fan Club. Okay, we definitely have enough money for that. But 
Now I want to send him a lab because of the AI leads that come on round 19. Okay, so this should be a pretty effective rush. I'm going to make sure to send some leads of my own, though. He instantly, instantly ends up boosting right there, boys. I'm going to go for maybe one more trip dart just to play it safe. Obviously, ultimately, he was good against that. Okay, so he recently also went. Uh, I'm going to go for another Republic myself, actually. I'm going to balloon boost this right here. Just a regular mob, all right? And uh, I'm actually going to end up bank clubbing this. I think we'll actually end up being good. Yes, we were. I'm going to send him Camo Ceramic in there. Maybe he doesn't have good camo detection. I'm honestly not sure. This AI, I just know, it's a little bit more intense, okay? But definitely got that camo detection. I was a little bit early. Dude, I wanted to send this rush during these, like, rainbows. But I timed it up wrong, unfortunately. We're just going to go for a third Republic then. Why not? We are in fact out farming him, okay? Because he's got two Republics in a plantation. We got three Republics. This is a pretty intense game. I won't lie. We do have a boost advantage though, okay? So if he needs to defend against a mob, he has got to go for a fan club, okay? We can rely off of our boost if necessary. Um, so that obviously is a good thing. He's preparing for round 22, okay? He's not going to be messing around with that. Uh, I'm also not going to be messing around with that either, okay? I, I don't want to die to anything stupid. Yeah. No way he just went for that. No way he just went for that. No way he just went for that. And he faked... Oh, wait. No. He faked it. I thought he for sure went for the facility because he sold all of his farms. He didn't, though. Wow. Okay, so that was super, super surprising. He's got a fan club on the map. Ends up re-putting down the farm. What? He just lost out on so much money right there. 100% going to be sending him yet again another mob. Uh, that's just obviously going to force him to sell the farms. Dude, his defenses aren't good right now, boys. They aren't freaking good. He ends up... He only has four trip darts, boys. Four trip darts. That's it. We still got 503 eco, too. Oh, my goodness, boys. We have got to be... Uh, pretty aggressive with the regen leads and whatnot here on these next upcoming rounds. Oh, I didn't even mean to send the ceramic. I'm going to end up sending the young man, though. Um, obviously, some regen leads with the round 24 AI. He's just not going to be liking that. And what did he do towards me? He didn't do anything, actually. Oh, my gosh. He might have just choked that. What? Guys, we saw lives being leaked. This game's a little bit weird sometimes, okay? But, you know, it's unfortunate, but... It happens, I guess. I'm going to end up going also for another jug myself. I'm going to send him some regen leads. Honestly, though, he's going to be fine against this AI, I think. I'm going to send regen leads, though, regardless. See if they happen to be effective. Because you just never know, boys. Oh, my gosh. His defenses are just shredding through all of those ceramics and whatnot. <gasps> oh, my God. Oh, my gosh. I thought I just choked that. Wow, that was close. I'm pretty sure his third tower is actually... Uh, the ace, so I don't think we can actually rush this man, okay? If we were to all out him, I think he has enough money to ground zero. Oh my gosh, there's no way. Oh my gosh, there's no freaking way. There's no freaking way, boys. Yeah, we're just gonna all out him. There's no way he defends all of that. There's no way he defends all of that. I'm telling you guys right now. He's not defending all of that. Oh, yeah. He's just going to freaking... No. Oh, wait. Oh, my gosh. No. Wait, he has no camo? He has no camo defenses! Lots of freaking... <laughs> There's no way he choked. He choked so hard. Whoa, calm down, Jamal. Wow, that was literally freaking insane, boys. There's no way. Wow, we got we got pretty lucky there, I won't lie. But at the end of the day, a dubs are freaking dub. What a great video. Okay, so I hope you guys did in fact enjoy. Make sure to drop a like on the video if you did. And also while you're at it, make sure to click that subscribe button. Alright, so the last question I asked you guys in the last video was: Am I low-key turning into a bot? Okay, and the answer is unfortunately a yes all right so this guy won congratulations man in the next question i will be asking you guys this have i redeemed my reputation as a btd player after today's video all right so what i mean is pretty much do you guys think i'm not as big of a bot 
after watching today's video. Make sure to leave your answers down below in the comment section, and you may have the chance to win a shout out in the next video, which is obviously dope. I hope you boys did enjoy it. Once again, it's been your Bobo Tricks or Justin. Peace out, everybody.